guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Leo the Linus Queen. If you happen to like what you see on this channel, please make sure to click that subscribe button and also like the video. A very special shout out to all of my beautiful elements and a very special shout out to all of the Virgos. If you happen to be celebrating a birthday on this evening, I would like to wish you a very special and blessed happy birthday. And to any new subscribers, thank you so much for making a choice to click on this channel and hopefully you'll like what it is that I got to bring. Okay guys, I am going to finally try to do um, a video on um, my time with the cast members um, at Orlando Gate, hashtag Orlando Gate. And just some thoughts about um, the entire weekend and stuff, okay? Because I see everybody else been doing videos. So I'm like, let me go ahead and get my little two cents in. Because um, as you guys see, I barely went live while I was there. Um, it was a lot of stuff going on. And like I said, I'm a person who likes to try to be within the moment. And, you know, I was just trying to soak up just everything um, while I was there. And that's usually how I am anyway. Um... I do regret that I did not get a chance to take pictures um, with a lot of my cast as far as my own personal pictures, um, but you know, we'll have time to do that again. But before I jump into all of that, I do want to give a special shout out to one of my elements who has sent me a gift for my birthday. Um, by the time it came, it was so much going on. I was preparing for the surprise filming, so I was not able to actually do a video on it. So I'm going to go ahead and put that at the beginning of this video, and then hopefully you guys will stay with me in order to hear what it is I have to say about everything else. Um, this particular element did not want to be named, so I am going to respect her wishes. But um, I just wanted to show you some of the things that um, she made me. Um, she made me these. And this is like um, something you can put as far as like on your uh, keys and stuff, which is really beautiful. She made me this as well, which is a nice bracelet that you can put on. So these are the two items that she made me. Everything that she sent me is handmade. And then um, this one was absolutely my favorite. Uh, it is a bracelet that she made. It says queen on there. Um, hopefully you guys can see it, but it has queen on there. And then she has, um, of course, the Leo sign. And then she has music ink icons on there and the microphone and everything I hope you guys can see it and she has my birthstone and stuff so I absolutely fell in love with this bracelet okay so this is absolutely beautiful and then um, she made one another one that said king on there and um, this is for my son so she made that and it has a little crown on there. So this is just like really, really, really dope. And then she made me a nice basket of strawberries, which I thought was really, really dope. So this is a beautiful knickknack that I can sit down. I love it. And then she made me some Better body scrub for hands and feet. Um, this is how it's made. Oh, this smells so good. But this is how it looks on the inside. Beautiful. I love um, candles, um, bath bombs, anything that's going to make you feel good while taking a bath and just body and all of that. I love that. And then she made me a candle and it says, light your frequency. And now I'm going to open it. Oh, it smells real good and fresh. So thank you so much to that beautiful element for um, making me these beautiful gifts. Um, when she feels comfortable, I'm going to go ahead and have it. To where she basically um, comes on and tells about the work that she does. She does a lot of homemade things. 
and she wrote down a list of um, the sample things that she does, um, a few samples of her work. Um, she sews drapes, curtains, shirts, candles, body scrub, bracelets, hair growth oil, beer oil for men, soap, ankle bracelets, keychains. She makes doll houses, body creams, body creams for arthritis, um, all made with clay, um, with the food for the doll houses, and it's just to name a few things that she does. But this particular element, like I said, wanted to remain anonymous for now. But um, to that element, thank you so much. I love my gift. I'm sorry I was not able to come on here and um, show you earlier exactly my appreciation. But thank you so much. I appreciate everything that my elements um, do for me. Um, but yes, for those who do want to send me things, um, my P.O. box is listed inside the description link of this video and every other video that I have. I actually think that I am going to actually do a list just so that um, if you ever do want to send me a gift, I can basically let you know the things that I love. That way it can be easier for you. But to anything I've received, whether it's just a simple card, a letter, I appreciate that as well. So thank you so much. Um, now we'll move on to Orlando. Um, Orlando was really, really fun. It was very intense. Um, it was very triggering um, for everyone, um, including myself. Uh, it was a lot going on. And that's the most, of course, I can say. Uh, also, too, the reason why I did not really come out and speak about my cast individually is because I did not want to take a chance on um, basically spilling the tea on a lot of the things that happened. Because even though I interacted with everybody outside of the family, a lot of, to me, the most important moments or the most um, moments that I say would stick out for me happened during the time that we were filming. But because of the fact I can't go into detail about that, um, that's why I was hesitating to say anything. Um, so I will talk about a few of the castmates. I'm not going to talk about them all, but just a few of them. Um, the first castmate I want to talk about is Wiley. Um, this is actually the first time, no, the second time that I've actually met Wiley. Um, the first time... Um, Wiley was a little bit more closed off um, the first time that I met him. This time, um, Wiley was way more open, in my opinion. He was way more open, um, way more sociable. Of course, he still did his thing. He still, you know, did his shows and handled his business. Um, but Wiley, me and Wiley had a lot of great conversations, and it was not just about YouTube. We talked about a lot of great things and I basically, you know, let Wiley know how I felt about him as far as saying that I have been a fan of his and how great I think he is. And I do. Um, I don't say things just to talk out the side of my ass. Um, I always saw something within Wiley, even in between his bullshit and with Wiley being a Scorpio and me being very much into the signs, like you guys know. Um, I understand exactly the way that Wiley operates. And that is the very reason why, um, even when Wiley is on his bullshit, I've learned not to take it personal. Um, I know Wiley's goals and Wiley is willing to do what he got to do to get there, you know, really for him. And he has said it, if you paid attention to him, Wiley has said that it's business is never personal. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's why I still maintain to this day, regardless of the fuck shit he done did. Um, Wiley, to me, is the most honest person um, as far as I'm concerned, because he tells you exactly who and what he is. He, you can even if Wiley try to lie, you can see through his actions exactly who he is. Um, I do believe Wiley does have a heart. He just has a lot of growing to do. And I see the growth in him. And I do believe that he is going to be a star. Now, this is something that I do want to clear up um, about the situation because I saw Wiley's video um, when he was talking to um, the queen of Kibbles and Bits. Um, the first thing I do want to um, say is thank you, Wiley, for um, speaking up. But to the queen of Kibbles and Bits, um, 
it was a total insult for you to basically sit up there and basically try to act as though Wiley does not have a mind of his own. And see, you've done what a lot of people has done to Wiley, and they basically do not pay attention to his intelligence, okay? Um, for you to sit up there and say that he's not able to make a decision on his own is very lazy, um, is very whack, and is very telling of the type of person that you are. Um, you like to go around and play games with people when you think they don't see you. Wiley saw you the whole time, um, just like a lot of us saw you the whole time, just not as much as you become. But basically, people get tired. Um, and from what I understand, cause I don't watch your raggedy ass, they were saying that you were trying to blame, I guess, Sean and Phi Babe for, um, trying to turn Wiley against you. Um, no, it actually was none of our faults or whatever. Um, Wiley saw what it was that you were doing. Um, not only did you sit up there and put his life in danger, you put all of our lives in danger. And then you basically put together uh, almost, I guess, murder plot or whatever the hell you were trying to do. Because if that text message, if that person who reached out to you really weren't able to get to where we were and do something to us, you would have been charged with that crime. And the fact that you even tried to set it up and thought it was a joke, you can still be charged with that crime. And that's why I don't respect anyone who even tries to stand up for you in any type of way. And you can go and run and tell Lovely T. Um, that's why I unsubscribe from her and I have absolute no fucking respect for her. Um, especially for someone who will sit up there and say, oh yeah, I rock with Tracy. I fuck with Tracy the wrong way, but I don't watch her videos. I guess. But if you want to sit up there and have a bitch that is reckless, don't know when to stop, constantly fucking with people's children, and now has added a conspiracy to murder plot to her repertoire, and you want that bitch a part of your brand, go at it, girl. Do your motherfucking thing. But anyway, um, the receipt that Whitey was talking about, which he made it very clear, was a receipt that I showed him when we were in the midst of conversations. And I basically showed him where your ignorant ass sat up there and super chatted Shelly some ignorant shit after my son had just got out the motherfucking hospital. Um, and when he saw it, that affected him. It affected him because he was not even aware that went on between you and I. So even though you cannot blame anyone for making Wiley turn against you, because Wiley is far from fucking stupid, um, don't try to put that on Five Babe. Don't try to put that on Sean. Leo was the one who showed him the receipt, and that is because we were having conversations. But in no way was I trying to turn him against you. You ain't shit. Wiley have goals. He has a brand that he's trying to grow. And unlike I said, like I said, the bitch that you hanging on her nuts um he don't want no ignorant ass motherfucker associated with him that's gonna bring his shit down and that's just what it is you did it to yourself bitch deal with it it is what it is um the next person i want to talk about is rebel um rebel was super fun um he smelled super good. He dressed super nice. Um, I had to stay away from Rebel um, because of the fact that Rebel, in my opinion, is very attractive. I always felt he was attractive, but seeing him in person and then just how fun he is, I'm like, ooh, Rebel. So I had to like keep my distance or whatever because I'm like, damn, Rebel, why you got to play for the other team? Because Leo would have had, we would have had an entanglement that weekend since they want to talk about us sleeping with production no i would have slept with red boy yeah i just said it, and i don't give a fuck who got something to say about it but that ain't what happened i respect it you know that rebel played for the other team and he was really really fun and i was very glad to have been a chance got a chance to be around him in his presence okay um the next person maturish i would say that maturish is who i would love to liken myself to um when I become a season queen if I'm blessed enough to become a season queen um is like when maturish is around she's so just confident elegant um beautiful it's like 
mature as she's not even walking. It's like she's floating through, okay? <laughs> she just floats through the room. And, you know, <clears throat> like everybody was saying, her presence will make your ass get in line, but she doesn't do it in a way to where you would feel uncomfortable being yourself. She allows the younger people to be themselves, you know, but if you get out of line, she will put your motherfucking ass in check. Um, Maturis is also a Scorpio, so I get that as well. She is, she damn sure is a Scorpio, but I really, really enjoyed her. And like I said, that's who I would liken myself to be when I become, if I'm lucky enough, like I said again, to become a seasoned queen. It was an absolute pleasure um, to be around Maturis, and I can't wait to be around her again. Um, let's see who's next. Sugar PYT. Sugar PYT is super, super freaking fun. She's just a ball of fun. Um, and that's just all I can say about her. Like, I love Sugar PYT. Um, like everybody was saying, Sugar PYT was stunting on all of us with all her outfits. She changed like 10 times a day. And, you know, her energy is just fun. She don't mean no harm. Um, I don't see how why anybody would not like her because that's just how dope she is. Um, next person, Joyce. Joyce Vlogs. Um, I'm not going to lie. Before I met Joyce, you know, she's a part of the Pride. And the thing that I know about being a part of the Leo Pride is not only are we hard on ourselves, we can be very hard on each other. And um, I've had my opinions about Joyce. It's not that I ever disliked Joyce, but I felt like I, I didn't know with Joyce because I would feel like there's times where she didn't stand up for herself enough. And then there were times where I didn't know whether or not that was just some bullshit and she was acting like that. <clears throat> but actually being around Joyce, Joyce is so nice. Her spirit is so nice. Um, and being around her was an absolute joy. Um, Joyce was fun. Um, she was not just over the top. She was very helpful. And when it comes to her makeup, the camera does not do the makeup that she does justice. Joyce is not just a makeup person. She's an artist. What she did was art. Okay. Um, she naturally has the talent, and I wish that Joyce would focus more on her makeup because that's how good she is. Um, I believe it was, <clears throat> I forgot who said that Joyce was giving the makeup artists a run for her money. She absolutely was, and I loved the makeup artists that we had. But Joyce, if it would have just been Joyce, I would have been fine with that because Joyce is just she naturally got it and the thing i will say um about joyce is that i do feel like joyce needs to stand up for herself more joyce needs to stand up for herself more and but other than that being around her it was a pleasure and i actually got to see exactly just how genuine her heart is and it made me fall in love with joyce and made me have to rethink some of the things that or some of the opinions I had concerning her. And that's just me being honest. Um, Joyce was an absolute pleasure um, to be around. <clears throat> Let me see who else. QB. Um, I fell in love with QB. I did. Um, QB is just so cool, down to earth. He feisty. He feisty. But QB is another star. He's another star. Um, QB has exactly what it takes to reach it, reach the top. He does. And he, you know, he just like, he a little rough around the edges. But once he raised to his levels and get the different things that he need to get done or whatever, you're not going to be able to stop him. I fell in love with QB. I love QB and I totally support him. I can't wait to be around him again. 
his energy was just really, really good, really cool. You know, just I was comfortable around him. So, but yes, I love QB. Okay, who else? Um, 5A. Um, it still amazes me, even to this day, how cool me and 5 Babe is because... As you all know, with Club Chat, Babe Nation, everything, we all had our issues. But I can honestly say, and I still, like I said, I still be like, I can't believe this. I really like Fire Babe. Um, and me and Fire Babe <clears throat> has really developed a bond. We have. Um, she's so different than what you see on camera. Um, Fire Babe is a real person. Um, Fi Babe is actually really cool. She really does have a heart. Um, she's not at all who people may think her to be. And I appreciate the bond that we have created. But yes, me and Fi Babe actually have a bond. Um, and that's pretty much all I got to say. She's a ball of fun, just real fun and, and real cool and down to earth. Okay, who else? Who else was there? Okay, Jay Dunn. Um, Jay Dunn was real cool. She was real laid back, real to herself um, to a certain degree. But she was cool. Jay Dunn was cool to be around. Um, and I'm, I, I would like to get to know, uh, you know, more about her or whatever and stuff. But yeah, Jay Dunn was just Jay Dunn. She was cool, calm, and collected. Um, Bama Girl. Bama Girl... Um, I would say Bama Girl would be who I could really see myself hanging with, like really hanging with. I feel like me and Bama Girl got a lot of things in common. Bama Girl was just cool. She was to herself, but she was fun. But I could see myself hanging with Bama. I feel like me and her got the same kind of like temperament um, when it comes to us being just chill and laid back. And yeah, I like Bama Girl. <clears throat> um... Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, um, everybody else was fine. If I forgot anybody, my bad, because it was so many of y'all. And also, too, like I said, because of a lot of the things that happened during filming, I can't really speak on. But I would just say overall, I had fun with everybody um like i said there were a lot of emotions there were a lot of tears there was a lot of furniture moving um but other than that it was a very great experience and i just look forward to everything else that um is coming to us you know um again for all the hate all the rumors i mean it just is what it is at this point <laughs> it is what it is at this point I'm just going to continue to do me like y'all know I do and just look forward to everything else that's coming, y'all. But that's pretty much all I got to say. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Um, And I'm about to go to bed because Leo is tired, all right? Have a good one, guys. Bye.